people can marry up or they can marry for money and I don't have a problem with it. It just feels like if you're going to marry into this institution, you, you've got to do, as you were alluding to, your homework. And just a bit of homework, you'd have seen how Diana, who was another person who didn't really fit with the royals, how she was treated, which which wasn't very well. Mm -hmm. But I sort of have this, I do have some sympathy for her. And I have the same sympathy I suppose I would have for maybe a supermodel who uh, is now talking about uh, exposing the industry because everybody wants you to be skinny. And that, you know, all the messages she's getting about you should be skinnier and that kind of thing. And I, I do have sympathy for that. But I also feel like you, you did sort of get into a very superficial industry. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, I guess, part of it. Most of us don't even have the looks to be supermodels. With Megan's case, most of us don't have the access to a prince or a princess, you know, so. How much blame do you place on Harry? A lot as well. I think you make a really good point that he clearly didn't prepare her enough. I think he's not very smart. Prince Harry. I'm not a royalist. I'm also not anti-royal. I grew up being anti-royal, I think. And then I started to see them more like the Kardashians that they are. Mm -hmm. They don't have any real power. I don't know the stats around how Brits feel. Anecdotally, I could say that I think Australians and Canadians are even more into the royal family than us. It's like the first thing they ask about. And I grew up knowing relatively little about them. And then you get to The Crown came out, the TV series, and the whole Meghan stuff, obviously Diana as well. And it, be it became this huge thing. Mm -hmm. um, he really doesn't seem very smart. I've read uh, his book, and I know it's ghostwritten, and you can tell. Um, and he seems like he's hearing a lot of um, progressive stuff, maybe ideas that we, we know of from woke culture. He talks a lot about unconscious bias. He, there's a lot of catchphrases he comes out with, and it feels like it's the first time he's heard them, and he's, he's sort of telling the rest of us about this amazing thing he's heard about. And the rest of us are like, well, we've known about this for years, man. Like, we've been living in the real world, working jobs, paying bills. You've been sat there not having the best life. I don't, I'm not saying, like, he has the best life, but I think if you are... To finish my point here, I think I would just say that the royals are in a really difficult position right now because they're trying to get modern sometimes. I mean, William said a few things as well. They talk about mental health and these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they're very, you know, noble um, aspirations and whatever. Um, they're in a bit of a bind, though, because it feels a little bit like the Tsar in Russia, like appealing to the Bolsheviks. They're trying to appeal to sort of the left. Mm -hmm. And that's great. And the left will like them more. But ultimately, the idea of a monarchy in, on the left doesn't hold up. I wonder if the left will like them more though, because sometimes if you make a concession to people that are fundamentally against you, it actually backfires and they, they ask for more. Like is yeah. there the, the modern, the monarchy and the Royals, they can't by definition be modern. Mm -hmm. They are a symbol of the old. And that's, I think where their power lies because we, I mean, humans have this tendency, you could even call it a bias, but, uh, to worship the old. The older something is, the more legitimate it is. It's why we laugh at the Book of Mormon, but not at the Bible, Yeah. right? Um, it's just time. Interesting. Um, and and the, the royals have that as their main source, I think, of legitimacy is how long they've been around, the unbroken chain of succession. And, um, and so, you know, I wonder how wise it is for them to try to modernize, to try to, you know, I, I just, I'm not sure they can do it well because they're so clearly out of touch. And that's not a criticism. It's anyone, if I were a royal, I'd be very out of touch. You can't not be. Yeah. By definition, part of your purpose is to be out of touch.